Good morning, Fitness family. Happy fun day. Um, the sun is shining, so it's beautiful outside. Um, we are ready to get going. So class this morning, 10 a.m. Um, my video is called LIT. It stands for Low Impact Interval Training. Um, so low impact does not necessarily mean low intensity. Um, it just means that there's going to be no jumping, no jumping. So you'll have a few cardio moves, a lot of strength moves, but there is no jumping at all in the entire class video. So that's what you got for this morning. So what you need is you need a mat if you've got one. If you don't have a mat, you can lay a towel down. That works too. Um, grab some dumbbells if you have dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, again, you can use water bottles, you can use soup pans, you can use a thing of laundry detergent, I've seen something that kind of has a grip with a little bit of weight if you don't have dumbbells. And then third thing um, that I want you to grab, so I'm going to use glider discs. I know most people do not have these at home. So the gliders are also optional. You don't have to use gliders, but there's two different parts where we can use these. If you're on hard floor, um, you get to use some washcloths. So if you're on hard four, go grab two washcloths. I'll give you a second before I start. Um, so go get two, two washcloths. You're only going to put these under your feet in place of the glider discs. So if you don't want them, you don't have to use them. All the exercises can be done without. Um, but if you want the gliders, go get two washcloths. Um, if you're on carpet, obviously you're not going to use either one. You're just going to step instead of sliding. So this is kind of made for more of that sliding motion. So, all right, we're going to get going. Good morning this morning. I see some of you on there. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Gina. All right, so we're going to warm up. So I'm throwing all that stuff off here to the side. So again, low impact is the name of the game this morning. So big deep breath in. Exhale. So we get big deep breath in. So that means no jumping. You're still gonna get a little cardio. It's mainly strength this morning, but you'll get a little bit of cardio in as well. Give me two more. One more time, big deep breath in. Now hands on your thighs, cat and cow. So flatten it down and round up. Do that again, flatten it down and round up. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Even though you were kind of sheltering in place, hopefully. Hopefully you still had a good weekend. We at least had some sunshine out, which makes it a little better so we can get outside and get some vitamin D. Two more, flat back and rounds up. Do that one more time, flat back over and rounds up. Now shoulder circles, just circle it back. And get this warming up here. Just kind of warm it up from head to toe before we get started. So each exercise is going to be 45 seconds, 15 seconds in between. Now double cross in front, and then pull. Cross and pull. So just kind of warm up to your chest. Cross and pull. You've got to keep that going. Cross and pull. Double cross and pull. Cross and pull. One more. Three. Give me two more here. Now single squats, down up. Single squats, kind of getting some blood flowing through your legs. Squat it down up. Give me two more squats. Now take your feet a little wider, lunge it side to side. Side to side lunges. Side to side. Again, just kind of getting blood flow and warming up. Four more, three, two more. Now stay on the side and reach and pull, reach and pull. So pulling with that left arm, you're opening up a little bit through your back. Four more, three, two more. Now switch other side, reach and pull, reach and pull. So you're still out a little bit with that lunge but you're also adding a little bit to warm up your other back. Two more. One. Now hold this lunge this way. Rotate runner's lunge. You can reach high or you can reach low. 
straight your legs, triangle stretch, forehead towards your leg. Turn to the front, round it up slow. Other side, lunge and hold it for four, three, rotate, runner's lunge, reach higher, take it low. Straighten your legs, triangle stretch, forehead towards the knee. Turn to the front, round it up slow. Now squat and tap back, squat, tap. So again, just kind of going through that warm up, squat, tap, reach tall, squat, tap, take it tall. One more, squat, tap, shoulder rolls back again, just shoulder circles back. All right, so we're gonna start with, um, the first section is gonna be five steps and back. Are your main focus with your muscle groups? We're gonna add some cardio in there too. So grab some dumbbells. We're gonna start with five step curls. You got 45 seconds in four, three, Two, here we go, box of curls. Just up and down, regular curls. Options here, you can alternate an arm. But you've got 45 seconds, five step curls. So your first 12 exercises are with bicep, with back, and then also in the group, keep throwing in a few cardio moves in there as well. You don't repeat any of these with the weights. With all of the ones we're doing with the weights, you're only doing one top three. You got it. 15 more seconds. Five step curls. You got to keep that going. 10 more seconds. You got to give me one more here. All right, drop your dumbbells down. You're going to go into inchworms. So come to the end of your mat or to the end of your towel. You're just walking down and walking back. So just a regular inchworm. All right, here we go, inchworms down. Walk it all the way out until you get to your plank. Once you get to your plank, walk your hands back, stand it back up. You've got it, walk yourself out to that plank. And then walk it back up. Again, 45 seconds here. Abs stay tight, strong core. Keep that going, keep that going. I'm gonna make sure I'm still connected here. All right, we're good. Good morning, Jenny. I had to turn my Wi-Fi off this morning because it was not connecting. So I'm streaming <laughs> on my data plan. So that's why I'm hoping that I stay connected. All right, you got last one. Give me one more inchworm. Taking it all the way down and all the way back. All right, stand up. Going into either plank or tabletop. Renegade rows. Two dumbbells. Hands under your shoulders. All right, here we go. Alternate arms. Single rows. So you can stay here in this tabletop position. You can take it out into a plank from your knees. You can go for plank from your toes. The main thing is to keep your hips square. You're focusing on your upper back. Pulling. Again, you've got 45 seconds. 15 more seconds here. You can get the tabletop. Whatever works best for you. I'm watching my clock. Give me one more on each arm. All right, back to your feet. Keep your dumbbells, hammer curls for biceps. Get ready. One, and four, three, two. Here we go, hammer curls. So just hitting your biceps at a different angle. Again, on any of the upper body work, you can alternate an arm. That works just fine. It may depend on the size of whatever weight you have. Keep this going all the way through for your 45 seconds. Breathe through it, you're 30 seconds in. 15 more seconds to go. Keep on going, keep on going. Palms in. You've got it five more seconds. Then we're dropping your dumbbells down. All right, drop your weights down. Next cardio, right leg's gonna come across. You're doing a knee repeater as fast as you can. In four, three, two, 
Here we go, Game of Peter. So just bring that knee in. It's a knee smash. You can take both arms like you're holding on to somebody and pull them in. That kickboxing style. You can do the jog arms. Whatever works for you. You pick which way you like the best. Abs stay in tight here. That right knee comes up to your chest and taps back. This is your little cardio boost. So the pattern, in case you've not seen it yet, is a bicep move, a cardio move, and then a back move. And then we repeat it again. Keep it going. Five more seconds. You also got the legs here too. And release. Ah, good deal. All right, get two dumbbells. Hinge it from your hips. Back flies. Whatever dumbbells you want or weights, whatever you got. We're gonna three, two, hinge from your hips. Back flies. Squeezing your shoulder blades back and together. Breathe through it. Try to keep your spine in alignment. So your gaze is a little in front of you. Trying to keep your whole neck in neutral. I will look forward some <laughs> because I'm looking at my camera and I'm also checking my timer. 15 more seconds. Squeeze. Shoulder blades coming together. You've got five more seconds. Give me two more. Give me one more here. All right, drop those dumbbells down, or keep them, sorry, keep them, or drop them, or change them. Side angle bicep curls. In four, three. So kind of come into the corners, side angle curls. It's like the dumbbells, or whatever you're using, are to the corners of the ring. Side angle curls. So, in a lot of videos I have been watching, of some at-home workouts during all of the coronavirus time. I have seen people using potatoes as weights. I've seen people using squash. I've seen people using eggplants. <laughs> I've seen people use a container of laundry detergent. So you find whatever works for you. You gotta give me two more here. And one more. All right, now drop those dumbbells down. We're doing that knee repeater. Left knee's gonna come across. Abs stay tight. And then you can pull or you can jog your arms. Here we go, knee repeater. As fast as your pace is, whatever your pace is, pull that knee into your chest. Abs stay tight. So this will get your heart rate up a little bit for a little cardio boost. But you're also going to feel a burn in that stationary leg. Breathe, breathe. You've got it. 15 more seconds. Knee repeater, knee repeater. Keep on pulling. Abs stay tight. Get your knee all the way up to your chest every time. Four, three. Two, one. Ah, flush that out a little bit. Get two dumbbells. You're taking it over. Wide back row. Stand up, up front row. In three, two, one. Here we go. Hinge over. Wide row. Stand up, up front row. Hinge over. Wide row. Stand tall, up front row. You got it. So again. Pinching those shoulder blades back and together when you're doing your wide row. Staying up tall with your upright row. Trying to keep your spine in neutral when you're hitched over. And breathing through it. Giving one more all the way through here. All right, move it on, 15 seconds. We're doing a half range bicep curl. Extend down in front of you, half range and back down. In three, 
two, one, here we go. So half is in, half is down. So turn sideways so you can see it a little better. I usually stagger my feet on this, just to protect my lower back a little bit. You do not have to stagger your feet. So half range and then extend it out. Loose grip on whatever you're holding. So keep your loose grip. Keep breathing. 10 more seconds. You guys, give me one right here. All right, drop your dumbbells down. We're doing back kicks alternating. It's that kickbox style. Keep it good form. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. Kick, kick. So work in your legs, work in your core. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Kick down that ball behind you. Kick, kick. So again, I'm turning sideways so you can see me. I'm chambering with my knee and then extending, pushing with my heel. Abs stay as high. You've got it, 15 more seconds. Breathe through it. Arms can go wherever is most comfortable for you. Give me one more on each leg. Right to left. And release. All right, next one. Last one with back and back row and back flies. Palm to palm. In three, two, one. Here we go. Over, row, fly. Row, fly. So palm to palm. Dumbbells are coming right to kind of shave your sides. Again, you're squeezing your shoulder blades with each one. Upper back, back row, and back fly. You got to keep that going. Back fly, row and fly. I'm making sure I'm still connected. Uh, how are y'all this morning? Keep it going, keep it going. Row and fly. You've got five more seconds. And then you're gonna grab your washcloths if you've got them, if you're on hard floor. Three, two, one, all right. Take a little breather if you need it. Wash cloths if you have them. I'm gonna use sliders just so I don't get these dirty. <laughs> Under your feet. We're going down to the floor first. Mountain climbers. You'll have 45 seconds. If you don't want the wash cloths, you don't have to use them. You're going at your own pace. In four, three, two, here we go. Mountain climbers. Knee into your chest. So if you've got your washcloth under your feet and you're on a hard surface, your feet will be sliding. If you don't have them, you're going here at whatever speed you want to go at. You pick your pace, slow or quick. You can slide with the washcloths or you can go without sliding. 15 more seconds. Abs stay tight, baby down. Almost there, almost there. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, stand up to your feet. Alternating lunges going behind you. If you've got your washcloths, keep them. If you want to go without, you're going without. In four, three, two, here we go. Alternating lunges so you can slide or you can go without sliding. So this is the option if you're sliding. If you don't have your watch balls, or you don't want to use it, you're here. So again, you pick which way you like it, or what you have access to. 20 more seconds. Breathe. Two more seconds here. Then we're going back to the ground. Abs stay in time. Three, 
Give me one more on each leg. All right, hands back down the ground. That, that ground, so I can spin out. Plank jacks, one leg or both legs. We're going four, three, two, here we go, plank jacks. Out and in. You can glide or slide. You can do one leg at a time. You can do these without the gliders. Or you can go with taps. Again, lots of choices. You pick which way you like the best. Keep it going, keep it going. Your hands stay right under your shoulders. My glider came out under my foot. 15 more seconds. Add some time. Almost there. Four, three, two, stand it back up. Back to your feet. Two more exercises with these. You're gonna go into side lun lunges, alternating. We're going to 10 seconds. Catch your breath. You do not have to use the sliders. Three, two, one, here we go. Alternating side lunges. Baby sets back. Squeeze with your inner thigh to bring that leg back to center. If you don't have these, you're gonna step side lunge together, side lunge together. So that's your option if you do not have your washcloths. So pick which way works for you. 45 seconds, you got 15 more seconds here. One more on each side. And release. One more of these, back to the floor. If you have your washcloths, you're doing a knee tuck. So you're doing both knees, tuck it in, back out. If you do not have your washcloths, you're going from plank to bear. In three, two, one, here we go. So knee tuck, if you've got your gliders, Add stay tight. I'm coming sideways. So you're here if you've got gliders. If you don't have gliders, go from plank to bear, back to plank. So if you don't have your gliders, you're going there. So you pick or wash cloths. <laughs> 15 more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. These are intense. Give me one more. Oh. Catch your breath. Grab some water if you need it. We are coming back to your washcloths. So we're finishing with those. We're going to dumbbells next. Chest, triceps, and cardio. A chest move. Then you've got kind of a, somewhat of a cardio or core. Then triceps. We start with push-ups. I'm waiting on my clock. <laughs> Just to make it easier for me to watch the clock. So take 20 more seconds, and then you're gonna get to where you wanna go for push-ups. Your push-ups can be knees, they can be toes, you can go against the wall. Whatever works best for you for 45 seconds. Hang loose. We're getting ready to go. In four. Four. Three, two, here we go, push-ups down. Again, with your push-ups, I would rather see you keep them all with good form, even if you need to drop to your knees, then to stay on your toes and go here. So you're trying to get a full range of motion. And the full range of motion means you need to do a few on your knees, then full range means do them on your knees. But you're trying to get full range. I can't see you, but you know what you're doing. All right, keep your push-ups, keep your push-ups. Down and up. You've got to keep it going. Five more seconds. And last one here. All right, stay here. Flip it over onto your reverse tabletop. Fingertips point towards you. 
We're going to turn reverse plank and then back down. Three, two, one. So reverse plank and then come back down. Just a little tap. Reverse plank and tap. Breathe through it. Pushing your hips up towards the sky. Back down. As your hips come up, your head goes back a little bit. So hips up and back down. Reverse plank. Breathe. You got it. 15 more seconds. Back down. Just a sly little tap at the bottom. And back down. Bring those plank up. Back down. Last one here. All right, come down to the ground. Line down. Tricep extension. Grab one or two weights. So come all the way down to the ground. Dumbbell up overhead. Here we go, one to your forehead. Line down, tricep extension. If you've got two dumbbells, you can grab two dumbbells and they're going ear to ear, palm to palm, towards your ears. So it may depend on what your weight is here. Breathe through it. We're staying on the ground for a little bit because your next exercise is also on the ground. You've got five more seconds. Try some extension. Give me one more here. All right, stay wide on the ground. Keep your dumbbells. We're going to go into chest flies. So you're going to open up in four, three, Two, here we go, wide out, and then back together. It's a long arm open, and a squeeze on the way in. Long arms, and give it a big squeeze. Exhale on the way in. Breathe out, right as you squeeze it together. So really try to be intentional about each of these moves. You've got 15 more seconds. Open it up and back in. Open up and back in. You got it. Open up, back in. Five more seconds here. Try to give me two more. One more here, then you're going to drop your weight to get to your feet. Drop your weight still. Get to your feet. Keep boxing again a little bit. Right arm, you're just jabbing. Here we go. Just step, jab, jab, jab. Kind of get your heart rate up a little bit. Step, jab. Guard stays up. Jab, jab, jab. So I kind of incorporate a little bit of kickboxing in with some of the cardio moves. Step, jab, 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 jab. Just right and holy. Keep it going. Keep it going. 15 more seconds, step down, right arm, you're locked to your nose, nose, nose. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. All right, hinging from your hips, tricep kickbacks, pick the weight you want. All right, here we go, hitch over, kickbacks. And then in. You can also do one arm at a time. Again, keep your spine in neutral. Try to find that spot on the floor in front of you. And your elbows stay lifted. When you're bringing your dumbbells in, they are not having to come all the way into your shoulders. It's almost like they're coming a little bit over your, your hip pockets. You can alternate it on here. 15 more seconds. Really squeeze the back of your arms. You gotta give me two more. And one more here. All right, back to the ground. Dumbbells, chest press. Dumbbells for chest press. 
We're gonna four. Four, three, two, palms away. Chest press. Up and down. Elbows are coming out wide into your touchdown position. Breathe through it. Try to connect your back to the floor. Exhale all the way in. That bell stay over the thickest part of your chest. Breathe. 15 more seconds here. Then you're coming back to your feet. Almost there. Give me two more. And one more here. All right, drop your dumbbells down. Bring yourself back to your feet. Left side. You're doing your jabs. 45 seconds. Guard stays up. In four, three, two. Here we go. Step jab. Jab. Right to the moves. Jab. You do not have to go with me. You do not have to go with the music. It's a little pop. And then you're tweeting. So anytime you're doing kickboxing on your jabs, they're quick. Because on those punches, you don't want to keep your arm hanging out. Because if your arm stays out, it's more likely for someone else to grab it. That's just kind of a little bit of self-defense thing as well. You're going jab, jab. 15 more seconds. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. All right. Coming to the ground. You've got dips. If you have a chair close by, you can do your dips on a chair. Remember, you can go here, but you can stay down, or you're coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Try some dips. Fingertips point towards you. Bending at your elbows. Trying to keep your hands right underneath your shoulders. Abs stay tight. Again, if you have a chair or something else that you want to do dips on, or a step, plus by, or a bench, you're welcome to do your dips that way. 15 more seconds. Working through that small muscle grip in the back of your arms. Keep it going, keep it going. Give me two more. And one more. Lie it down. Grab your dumbbells. Chest press and chest fly. Putting both moves together. Four. Three. Two. Dumbbells under your chest. Here we go. So press. Then palm to palm. Fly. Do that again. So just put those moves together. Press. And then fly. Press down. And then fly. Full 45 seconds. Work through it. Again, as you fly, you're really trying to squeeze your chest on the way in. You're giving them a tight hug. Squeeze on the way in. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Keep it going. Give me one more time all the way through. Press the fly. And release. Chop your dumbbells down. You are finished with your dumbbells. Get to your feet. Kickboxing style kick. You're doing front kicks. Chamber. In three, two, guard is up. Kick, kick. Again, you're picking your speed, but you really want to focus on that form. You can kind of add a little crunch with it if you want. Power. You're kicking down that front wall in front of you. Or whatever else is in front of you. You're kicking with the thickest part of your foot. Guard up. Strong core. 15 more seconds. Breathe, breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Last one here. Back down to the floor. Tricep push-ups. You can do tricep push-ups with your hands in the diamond, 
or you can do that close chaturanga style. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go both ways. Knees or toes. So if you're in that close grip, your elbows are shaving your sides, your hands are right under your chest. If you're doing the diamond grip, diamond position, elbows are gonna go out wide, hands are still right under your chest. Knees or toes. Try it out both ways on your own. See which one works for you the best. They both feel a little different, but they both target your triceps. You got it almost there. Can you give me two more? Two more, two more. And one more. All right, now, take a little breather. Grab your washcloths, if you want them. Last five exercises. We're repeating what we did. So get your washcloths under your feet. Catch your breath. You've got 10 seconds. Male climbers are going to be first. Here we go. In four, three, two. Here we go. Male climbers, pick your speed. Again, pick if you want the washcloths or if you're going out. Abs are tight. Booties down. You can go slower. You can go quicker. You can do this without the glide. Again, you pick, you pick. Keep it going. 30 seconds more. You've got this. Keep it booty down. Breathe, breathe. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Stand up. Ah, gliders or washcloths. <laughs> Or no washcloths, reverse lunges. We're going in four, three, two, here we go. Reverse lunge. Nice and tall here. As you're going down, make sure you're stepping back far enough to where you've got that 90 degrees, knee over toe. Keep going, you got 20 more seconds. Almost there, almost there. Give me one for on each leg. Ah, all right. Back to the floor, plank jacks. Or one foot going. Washcloths or no washcloths. Get ready. Four, three, two. Here we go. Plank jacks. Plank jacks. 45 seconds. Your inner thighs. Get a little extra here. You can also do one leg. Again, you can do these without sliders. You can do one leg. So this is the one place. If you don't have washcloths and you do both feet, you're kind of jumping a little bit. So this is the one place where you add a little jump. 15 more seconds. Keep it going. You're kind of back to your feet after this. Four, three, two, back to your feet. Stand up. Ah, uh, you're almost there. Side lunges. Sliding out to the side or stepping. Get ready with your four. Four, three, two. Here we go. Side lunges. Either sliding out to the side or you're stepping if you don't have the washcloth. Booty still goes back. Again, watch that knee. Try to keep knee over toe. Work it through your inner thighs here. 30 more seconds. Breathe through it, breathe through it. 10 more seconds. Almost there, almost there. 
Give me one more on each leg. All right, last move. Bend over, urge your pull down. Knee to hug, or that plank to bear. In four, three, two. All right, hands come down. Knee tuck, knee tuck in, tuck it in. Again, if you don't have the wash pulse, you're going for a plank into bear. You can also do plank to down dog if that works better for you. But if you've got the gliders, keep your tuck or your wash pulse. If you want to add a challenge, you can change the tuck to a pike. So instead of a tuck, you can also do that pike in. You can alternate, tuck the pike. So pick whatever you like the best. Almost there. Give me one last one. Ah, push yourself back. Stands up, shoulder circles. Ah, that is workout complete for this morning. We're gonna cool down. We will stretch out. Shoulder circles back. Big seat right there. Exhale. Do it again, big seat right there. Exhale. Again, big deep breath. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Do one more time. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Now flat back over. Round up. Circle your shoulders back for two. Do that again. Flat back down. Round up. Circle back. Two. Again, flat back down. Round up. Circle back for two. One more time, flat back over, round up, circle back for two. Now big deep breath in again. As you exhale, grab it one elbow, keep your triceps a little pull. So if you stop the video before you finish the stretch, just make sure you stretch on your own. Switch other arm. Tomorrow morning, live stream at 10 will be step interval. So it'll be all cardio. Again, if you don't have a step, it's okay. I had some people who used the step like on their front porch, which most of the moves you can do that, just be a little careful. Unless there's anything where I go all the way over. And I can't remember what I've got planned for tomorrow. Round that through your back. If you do not have a step, and you're wanting to come bar or one, and you're a wellness center member, we still have a few steps here. You're welcome to come and check one out. Or you can send me a message. I've also been known to make a few deliveries. <laughs> Switch other side. Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. We're going to do power time. We're going to do power time. One foot comes in front. Heel down. Toe up. Lean into it. Power pump without a bar. So that's what we're doing Wednesday. No bar. Just stop bells, but it's going to be an old, old power pump routine. Point your toes. Flat your back, round it all the way up. Switch, other heel down, toe up, lean into it. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Point your toes. Flat your back, round up. Grab an invisible wall or the real wall. One foot comes behind you, stretch out through your quads. And release. Bring that same foot in front of you. Set into it. Figure four. Feeling that stretch through your glutes and hips. Again, thank you all so much for joining me this morning. Hope you got a good workout in. Please feel free. Share along the video if you want. Feel free to comment, especially if you actually did the workout. Let me know um, feedback, thoughts. That's kind of how I've been trying to plan some of my other workouts for the week. It's based on some of the feedback and the thoughts. So. Please feel free to let me know things you like, things you don't like. Cross one leg over, lean into it. If there's things you want to see that you've not seen yet, add that in there. Switch, cross the other way, lean into it. And cross, one big seat right in. Exhale, blow it out. Thank you all so much for coming. Have a great rest of your Monday, and I will see you all later.